What was that about being even? Thank you, Jay. That was an incredible uh, commentary. Uh, and not, not that I'm surprised from you. Um, I uh, have to say to start off that um, recommending Jay to take over in my job was the easiest decision I made during my tenure. Uh, when he came to the tour, he had all of the enthusiasm I ever had. His skill set at that time, at his age, was far superior to what it was when I was that age. Uh, his tenaciousness was uh, just fantastic, and he never looked back. And uh, tonight, there's been some discussion about these different things that you can sort of measure uh, this number and that number and these things in terms of what's happening during uh, my tenure, but uh, there's no question that Jay and his team are going to blow by all those bogeys. And I know this for two reasons. One, they pretty much already have. <laughs> and uh, congratulations to the folks at, uh, ch at Table 11 uh, in helping Jay and working with him to make that happen. But two, uh, he's the most competitive person I've ever met in my life. And I know this because uh, we did hike together in the Himalayas, and he would wait until he'd trail along behind a little bit until we were like 15,700 feet, and then all of a sudden I'd blink, and he was at 16,000 feet at the pass waiting for me. Uh, he, he has an incredible competitive uh, uh, focus to anything he does. And uh, there's no question that the tour uh, and the sport uh, and the team that's around Jay will make sure that uh, what has passed uh, is really insignificant. Uh, I would like to make a few other comments. First, I'd like to thank Sports Business Journal. I think that um, as one of our people, I can't articulate it as well, we were talking about SBJ the other day, and uh, I think that SBA, SBJ serves a real purpose in our industry. Uh, they report well and thoroughly. They find the information. They don't, they don't sugarcoat it, but they don't make it messy. Uh, and they contribute in the way they go about reporting our sport, sport, our sport and your sports uh, in a very positive way. And so I'm doubly appreciative uh, for this recognition. Uh, I saw a lot of friends tonight, and uh, it was great to see you, and I appreciate you coming over and congratulating me. I would like to recognize two people here tonight. Um, one is uh, David Fay, who ran the United States Golf Association for 21 years. David, would you stand up? We overlap for many, many years. And and a not so well known factoid is that uh, when the idea of what First Tee turned out to be came along, uh, and we got back going back and forth with David Fay, David Fay is the one that came up with the name First Tee. And it has worked incredibly well, as I'll comment on in a few minutes. And thank you for that, David. Uh, and another individual who came to the tour in the mid 80s, right, right about the time I was getting ready to go down there from Washington, uh, and who took what was a extremely elementary um, uh, marketing capability and turned it on its head overnight to make it into a marketing machine. Uh, he has uh, been into a lot of sports and he's impacted these various sports in a very positive way since he left the PGA Tour. Uh, I think he's one of the smartest people in the game and I'd like Gary Stevenson to stand up and be recognized as a good friend. I'd like to thank my predecessor, Dean Beeman. Uh, you know, when people look at, uh, at my tenure and, and Dean's tenure and they start comparing numbers, they're off a little bit. What, what people don't recognize is the fact that when I took over for Dean I, and, and my team, we had resources to work with. 
uh, we had we had things we, things we could invest with. When Dean took over in 1974, just leaving his competitive play, um, the the net value of the PGA Tour was $150,000. Now you can't build a retirement plan. You can't, you can't even get on airplanes and go see sponsors when you have that kind of limitation, but he managed to do it and, uh, and, and did it with very little and, and kept it going. And I think uh, Jay would agree, we've talked about this many times, that when you look back on the history of success of our sport, you know, Dean Beeman changed the world for what the PGA Tour was and made those of us coming behind him, gave them the capability to take it on and play it forward and, uh, and, and, and grow it. I'd also like to, th like to thank the players who I interfaced with over a good number of years. Um, Jay mentioned a couple of these, but, but early on to be able to spend some real time with Ben Hogan, Sam Snead, Byron Nelson, Byron Nelson, and Arnold Palmer, to me, were the, maybe the two greatest human beings I'd ever met. Going all the way up through uh, after that into the Tiger Woods era uh, and now into the post-Tiger Woods era with these great young players coming up who have so much more to contribute on arrival than they did 15 or 20 years ago. They were their masters of social media they, they've learned so much at some, such a young age. They've studied the great players. A few years ago, I had a couple of rookies come up to me. They were trying to get their card and asked. Uh, they said, Commissioner, um, we've been following the top players, and we noticed they all do a lot of charity work. Do you think we should start a foundation, our own foundation, to start raising money for charity? And I said, well, you might want to keep your card for a year. But, uh, but yeah, absolutely, that's what we're all about. Uh, to Jack Nicklaus and Gary Player, uh, there is a, a consistency there beyond play to what the players believe is a very special second reason. And now it's an equal reason to play this game and that's to help people. And what's happening with that uh, is incredible. And one of, those, uh, one of those programs is the first tee and I'll make a couple of comments on that. Um, when the golf organizations got together back in 97 to bring First Tee forward with David naming it, uh, we, we were starting from nothing. And today there are 150 chapters around the country. Uh, First Tee in schools is in eight or 9,000 schools. Hundreds of thousands of kids are being reached. The, the, in my view, the professional portion of the game with Jay's leadership, and, and the people he has as his, his partners will continue to do great things. And the internationalization that they're focused on now is gonna take them even further. The participation side of the game is more challenging. I think all of us recognize that young people coming up today have so many more options, so many things they can do with their day that are intriguing to them. To get them focused on golf is, is more difficult. Having said that, don't listen to people who say, well, young people today don't have an interest in golf. They have a, a tremendous interest in golf, but you have to take the game to the kid, particularly if, if you want to diversify the sport. And so First Tee, <laughs> First Tee is designed to do just that. And it's 20 years old, 22 years old, it's made some progress but the potential is so much greater. And that's why I'm delighted that the current commissioner of the PGA Tour is showing real leadership in the regard of First Tee. Some of us are around to help, but the PGA Tour is taking the lead, coordinating with the other golf organizations. And uh, I don't know if I can get a list of everybody in this room, but I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna send every one of you a letter and say, give something to the First Tee because if you do the number, great things will happen. Thank you very much for your recognition tonight.